everybody, it's Tyler Austin. Thank you so much for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some quick tips and pointers on reloading your AK when you have to retrieve magazines from either a chest rig or plate carrier. But this also works very well when retrieving magazines from belt mounted pouches. So let's get right on into it. I see a lot of people struggling to reload their AK, specifically when they have to get a magazine from particularly their chest rig or their plate carrier, what most people will do is that they'll take their outface palm and wedge it in between themselves and the magazine, get their fingers wrapped around it and pull it out of the uh, carrier. Now this works fine. People have been doing this for a very long time. It's, it's okay. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. However, it is kind of awkward because it puts your shoulder in a very awkward position. It's kind of approaching the limit of its um, range of motion and you just don't have a lot of leverage to pull this magazine out. So it can be pretty awkward. Now what some people will do is that they will attempt to use an index grip, which is similar to how you would um, retrieve a pistol magazine or how some people like to retrieve AR magazines, where you grab the very butt plate of the magazine and you pull it out and your index finger is along the forward edge of the magazine like this. Um, although this might work fairly okay with empty magazines, once the magazine is loaded and heavy, this is a very flimsy grip and um, not very robust and it's very easy to accidentally drop the magazine. It's also very limiting because if you like to do things like um, reload methods like mag sweeps or thumb sweeps, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my AK non-retention reloads video. I have it linked up here somewhere above. You can't do that with this grip. So basically you are stuck with a basic mag strip where you strip the magazine from the rifle first before retrieving a new magazine. So with that being said, I definitely don't recommend an index grip. Now, the grip I do recommend you use is something I like to call a reverse grip, where you just grab the magazine with your palm facing you. Um, here, your, your shoulder is in a much more biomechanically efficient and stronger position to actually pull that magazine out of the carrier. And you'll grip the magazine in a reverse fashion like this. Now this might seem a little bit awkward, however, it's actually very effective, very useful, and very adaptive. You can use any sort of reload method you like, whether that is your basic mag strip, you can do your thumb or your uh, mag sweep if you like to, and you can do your thumb sweep. It's very adaptive, you can use any reload method you like. Um, it's very efficient. It's a little bit awkward once you, once you start it, if you've never done it before, um, simply because you are gripping the magazine in a reverse fashion. However, it's very fast, very effective um, once you learn how to do it. Also for right-handed people, one benefit to this is that once you load the magazine into the mag well, your support side hand is on the same side as the charging handle already. So it doesn't have to travel very far in order to charge the rifle. Unlike a long grip where your hand's on the other side, you have to go around the magazine in order to reach the charging handle. So it's a very effective grip. Um, the only limitation to it is that it's very awkward if you wanna load the rifle with the, uh, with the Ejection port parallel to the ground is just a very awkward movement here. It can be done, it's just awkward. So you generally have to rotate the rifle uh, roughly 90 degrees to get the ejection port pointed down towards the ground in order to gain better access to the mag well. Um, think about getting both of your palms facing the sky um, to load the magazine into the rifle. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this can also be very useful for belt mounted uh, magazines as well. Uh, how most people orient their magazines on their belt is they orient the magazine with the bullets facing rearward. And again, when you go to retrieve the magazine, it puts the shoulder in a very awkward position. It's just biomechanically awkward and weak. So instead of orienting the bullets facing rearward, I suggest you orient the magazine's bullets facing forward. And what this allows you to do, again, it allows you to use a reverse grip. So you can come down, grab the magazine, put your shoulder in a much stronger, much more biomechanically less awkward uh, position, 
and you can just grab the magazine, do your, do your reload, um, and go from there. Now also, even if you don't necessarily like to use a reverse grip, um, if you just want to use a standard long grip, all you have to do is take your hand, uh, orient your palm facing outward, and then wedge it in between yourself and your um, and the magazine. And here, although it's a little bit more awkward than with the reverse grip, um, this is a lot stronger position than with the other way around. So this allows you to get your standard long grip, um, um, in my opinion, much more effectively than, than with the bolts facing rearward. Now, a lot of times, what I personally like to do is on my most rearward pouch on my on my um, on my belt, I like to run a 40 round magazine. So, especially with a 7.62 magazine, they're longer and they have a pretty substantial curve to them. So sometimes I'll run this bullets facing forward as well, but sometimes this can get in the way um, of the of the magazine pouch most forward to it. So sometimes, for me personally, I'll run this magazine um, with the bullets facing rearward just to keep them out of the way of each other. It's not really settled science to me whether I prefer um, um, this magazine facing with the bullets facing forward or rearward yet. I'm still experimenting with it. But that's because I like to run a 40-round magazine on my belt. Um, so that's why. If this was just a 30-round magazine, I would have this one. It, I, I would definitely have this one facing with the bullets facing forward um, too. Uh, but either way, that is the reverse grip. I hope you found this tip very helpful. Um, give it a shot. Again, I know it can be a little bit awkward. Um, it looks a little bit awkward, but believe me, once you practice it and you get and you get used to it, it's actually very efficient, just as fast as using a standard long grip. Um, and it allows for much more effective and efficient reloads, in my opinion from plate carriers, chest rigs, and belt mounted pouches. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please like, subscribe, follow, depending on where you're watching this. I'm Tyler Austin. Thank you so much for watching.